first i'm going to start with a with a real life story i used to work in pwc and i had a friend i have a friend named sharan he was my age he was a qualified ca and his goal is to get into the the biggest and the best investment banks so he was one of those guys who planned few steps ahead what did he do he cleared ca uh, by the way he was a genius okay so it's it it doesn't mean it doesn't take away anything from his uh, hard work but he finished ca he joined pwc with me he was working there for a couple of years in his uh, st- during his time of his work at pwc he started studying for cfa okay he knew that cfa studying with work made a lot of sense because that time cfa exams were held every 6 6 months so he knew that okay fine level 1 i have 6 months to study uh, along with my work i'll start studying on the weekends and post work he started doing that he cleared level 1 cleared level 2 cleared level 3 then he applied for an mba overseas based on the fact that he is a chartered accountant he has a cfa which is a us based qualification in the field of investment and finance and he had pwc experience he got into an mba uh, uh call the college that he wanted overseas in the states and now he's going to come back this is by the way so he's right over there right now and he's going to come back and he has offers in these kind of companies that he had envisioned back when he was a kid in pwc so uh planning in this manner step by step strategically is of huge benefit and this video is going to be on whether you should pursue cfa after ca So guys that being said my name is Pratham I am the co-founder and CEO of Zell Education at Zell we train students in various fields uh, sorry in various courses in the field of finance so ACCA CFA these are basically our strong qualifications so should you pursue CFA after CA uh the, the I mean uh, as all people who are who who are uh in this who understand this field will tell you it completely depends Number one, academically, CA covers the whole world of finance and accounts. It is the it it basically is the father of all uh, finance and accounting related courses. CFA is slightly different. CFA is a specialization in the field of finance. It is the number one qualification in the world in the field of investment management. So, if you if you like are learning about these kind of things right you like the markets when i say markets i mean equity markets bond market forex derivatives you like these complex instruments you like economics you like uh basically stuff such as banking you know corporate corporate banking and corporate finance and things like that cfa covers all of that in much more depth so the first call first question is is your reasoning of doing cfa valid is it because either you like the subjects of cfa after studying ca because when you study ca and then you see the subjects of cfa you'll understand much more right is you know did you love the financial management and those kind of subjects of ca then cfa academically is it makes sense to you second is your dream to work in a particular profile in a particular company in a particular field which requires you to study cfa that makes the most sense logically whether to pursue cfa after ca or not but it has to be one of these guys if you're just doing cfa to add a qualification to your cv after you're a ca uh i mean do it but but the value will then be more of a fluke you know you'll have to hope that you then come across a company which is requiring both of these qualifications but it's better to set your sights on some kind of qualification for example i had given in the beginning investment banking is the most one of the most sought after profiles in this in basically in the world of finance so for investment banking in india um, a ca plus cfa and you add an mba to it it's a gold mine right you 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 definitely will get there but you need to have an understanding and an affinity towards investment banking that's an example right like i said if you really love the markets right you really love uh, handling other people's money Uh, and deciding where to invest for example right like investing in equity investing in mutual fund investing in bullion investing in real estate like you like that right you like taking people's money investing it across the market and then giving them a higher return than what others can give if that somehow resonates with you cfa is a is is probably the only qualification you should aim for for ca but do aim for cfa because of some logical and rational reason 
rather than just increasing the weight of your uh, resume. So with that being said, I feel yeah, if you've completed your final CA, uh, level one would be really easy for you for CFA. Level two and three will require a little hard work, but always ensure that you're pursuing CFA along with work. Do not take a break from work because it makes no sense that you've completed CA and now you're just studying CFA by yourself at all. Continue, start, start working, heading towards the goal which you want and study CFA simultaneously. You will be in a position to study CFA along with work. It's not, it's not, especially not if you've cleared CA. And for those who are in the middle of CA and are thinking of jumping to CFA, I would suggest please hold unless you're right in the middle of your articleship and you know you have enough time to study. That's the only time you can take up CFA. Otherwise, wait, finish CA and then shift. Otherwise, you're going to be all over the place and it might be a huge, huge mess. So uh, just to summarize, guys, please aim for CFA based on some logic. And if it's post CA, the kind of outcome, the kind of value you will have because of this CA plus CFA on your title is going to be it's going to open all doors for you in the field in this field of finance thank you so guys wait before you leave i'm going to leave you all with the same old do you know what the difference between you and a successful version of you is the successful version of you would not miss out on subscribing to this channel today